Hey, what's up? This is Scott Talinsky, and today we're going to continue our Press to Shop series by talking about shipping. Now, this first video is going to be how to set up your basic table rate shipping. Now, in systems like Magento, this is a little bit of a pain where you have to download a CSV, fill it out, re-upload it, and then hope it sort of is set up correctly. In Presta Shop, there's a nice interface for you to clearly see uh, how your shipping is going to be working and laid out in a table interface. And you can do it all online. You don't have to download a file and then re-upload a file. So check it out. We're going to get into that now. So to get started, let's go ahead and go to our shipping section. We can do that by hovering over shipping and selecting carriers. This brings you to our carrier screen and you'll notice that we have two pre-configured uh, options here. One of which is just named my carrier and the other is level up tuts store now we actually don't have in store pickup which it says it is because there's no shipping and it's free so i'm going to go ahead and disable this shipping we can do so by simply clicking this downwards arrow and then selecting delete uh, we can always recreate this if we wanted to using their shipping tools However, we're really mainly focused on this My Carrier, which is going to be our standard mode of shipping. And we can determine our shipping prices based on some parameters, which we'll see setting up in a second. So let's go ahead. You can click anywhere on this row, except for maybe uh, this free shipping or status. We can just click here, or you can click the edit button. And let's give this a name. We can just say this uh, basic table. Actually, we'll just say this uh, table rate. And transit time, we can give this a time of three to eight days. Now, this is good because this is how long it's going to take for your package to arrive. And if you're shipping it um, with this table rate, you might not know. So you might want to put sort of a, a general area for this. Although if you do know exactly what days, how many days it's going to take, go ahead and fill that in accordingly. Now, speed grade is a shipping delay. Enter zero for the longest shipping delay and anywhere up to nine for the shortest shipping delay. We're gonna leave this at zero and we're not going to add a logo for this and we're not going to have tracking so we don't have to enter anything for this tracking. Let's go ahead and clip shipping locations and costs. So will we want to add handling costs? This is up to you. We can just select no. And it's not going to be free shipping, so we'll also leave that as no. Now, billing, we can have it be according to the total price or the total weight. Let's go ahead and do this according to total price. And tax is going to be up to you. You'll notice that they have the uh, U.S. tax rates in here already. So uh, since I'm from Michigan, I can put U.S. Michigan rate 6%. And now if it's out of the range, uh, what do you, would you want to do? Would you want to high, uh, apply the cost of the highest defined range as in the distance from where you are or just disable it completely? Uh, for now, I'm gonna leave this as apply the cost of highest defined range. Now let's scroll down here and we can see we actually have ranges. So you can see that this price for shipping will be applied when uh, the cost is greater than zero dollars and less than ten thousand dollars and the shipping in that case is going to be five dollars to north america and five dollars to europe if you don't want to have europe available we can just uncheck this now it's five dollars shipping to us Let's go ahead and say that it's going to be $5 shipping to US anywhere from $0 to 1999. And let's click this add new range button. You can see it automatically starts our next range at 1999. So then we can move this up to let's say 39.99. And uh, let's again add a US shipping rate which is going to be $10. And let's add one more new range from 39 to 59. 99 and that's going to be uh, $15 and one more range we'll put $59.99 anywhere up to a thousand ten thousand dollars whatever and that's going to be at $25 for shipping now I pulled these rates completely out of nowhere so don't think that these are any scientifically defined rates or anything like that but what you have here is this really great interface right uh, this allows you to keep adding your table rates in a way that is 
really sort of easy to understand and easy to see at a glance. And uh, compared to something like Magento, you download a, an Excel file, you modify it, re-upload it, uh, and you can't see it in the interface. This is just so much better. So check it out. Uh, this is going to be adding our ranges here. Now we can move on and select size, weight, and group access. So we can add a minimum package height, width, and all that stuff. I'm just gonna leave these at zero. And I'm going to leave group access alone because visitors, guests, and customers will all have access to this shipping. If you want to have a special shipping rate for uh, customers, then you can actually have this set up and uh, uncheck these and basically only customers would have access to this. Now let's come to summary. So it's going to say this carrier is not free and the delivery announced is in three to five days. The shipping cost is calculated according to the price in the tax rule Michigan uh, shipping or Michigan sales tax. And the carrier delivers between zero and $10,000. If the order is out of this range, apply the cost of the highest defined range. The carrier proposed will deliver to North America and it will be good for visitors, guests, and customers. Now, I especially like this because it gives us the ability to see everything at a glance. We can see exactly what this shipping rate is doing in plain English written in sentences. This is a great feature. Okay, so now that we're done, let's go ahead and click finish. Let's check out our new shipping in action. Okay, you can now see that uh, since we only have one uh, shipping type of carrier enabled, it's just table rate and when it says table rate three to five days, you could have this name be standard shipping or anything like that, just whatever you define it as. Um, and you'll see because my cost was in the threshold, the, um, if we come back to our table right here, my total cost was in this threshold between $39 and $59. Uh, it's giving us the option and saying that shipping is going to cost $15. If we were to remove some things from our cart and get the price down, that would adjust based on the table rates that we have. So you've now set up a basic table rate shipping that's just defining your shipping cost based on total price. So as always, this is Scott Talinsky. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Facebook or Twitter. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.